Hello, Club Enrollify. I hope everyone is having a fantastic start to, for at least many of us, me anyways, uh, week three of quarantine. All right, we put together this awesome little random video to kind of kickstart us. I know uh, it's Tuesday and you might be feeling the Tuesday blues, so hopefully this will be a little bit of inspiration for you as you tackle the rest of the week. So this video is really all about, I don't know if I can get my mouse to click here. Ah, there we go university websites that are actually slaying the UX design experience in the COVID-19 era. So these are universities who have websites that are doing really cool things and were likely doing cool things before COVID. Um, but in the era of COVID-19, it is you know now more important than ever before to ensure that your website is optimized, that your website has awesome content pathways, that your website really offers a dynamic experience, especially since students aren't able to visit your campus and um, you know engage with you in a, a normal capacity. So we're going to dive into three examples of, of schools that I think are killing it right now. Knox College, Loris College, and Suffolk University. Just want to give a quick little overview of each of these schools, why I think they're killing it, and then we're going to dive in and I'm going to show you guys their websites and um, you know give you a sense for why I think what they're doing is really, really cool, especially in this moment. So Knox College, okay? They are small, you know, liberal arts school. I am convinced that this is like by far the most compelling copy I've ever seen on a university website. It's like Donald Draper was hired, <laughs> was commissioned to basically build out the site's content. It is so fantastic, really compelling, and I'm going to show you guys what that actually looks like momentarily. So great work to the people at Knox. Loris College. Loris College is a small, uh, small college in Iowa, and um, they have this fantastic conversational format inquiry form. It feels like a, a Mad Libs game. It's super engaging, uh, unlike any sort of traditional inf inquiry form that you're used to interacting with. For those of you that might be familiar with Typeform, it's a little bit you know Typeform-esque, but uh, super, super uh, conversational, super uh, Mad Libs-like. And finally, we've got Suffolk University in Boston. Um, you know, great school. Uh, many of you guys are probably familiar with Suffolk. Um, what they have done is they have created an a academic kind of program search experience that actually doesn't suck, right? So, so many universities uh, build out these really, really robust databases and then the search experience to kind of figure out where, you, what program you're interested in, how you're going to get there, et cetera, is just filled with friction and um, is really, really ugly. And so they Suffolk's done an incredible job of capitalizing and, and really building an experience that is you know, nothing short of exciting and awesome and inspiring. So let me jump in and show you guys what these schools are, what, what it actually looks like here. So starting with uh, with Knox here. So you get to their website. Let me just move my little uh, camera over here. And you're hit, you know, ignore the COVID banner, but you're hit with this powerful copy of The Power of Experience. And they jump right into, you know, we believe that every experience is a kind of education. Everything you learn in the classroom gains value when you apply it. And you know they click start now. There's no, you're not hit with like an application button or an inquire here. Um, it's really, uh, it really kind of communicates that this experience is in fact different, um, and that we're 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 going to be different in how we talk, how we write about content, and how we kind of lay content out. If you scroll through their site again, like the way the format of the site is again pretty pretty unique for for a college or university. Uh, they don't stick to that the kind of traditional infinite tier experience. They they really really chop it up. What I love is they've got awesome video content, like four years and you know one hundred and twenty four seconds. Right, very 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 clear that this institution, that this college, is focused on really being different and being human and capitalizing on um, you know experience so much so that they're integrating something that's actually different. All the way, you know, not just on on campus or, or in their classrooms, but actually on their website. So, real quickly, just a couple other quick things I want to show you guys. You click start now, right? I love, I love the fact that you're immediately hit with three ways to describe a Knox education. So again, they don't jump to the application here. They talk about being rooted in a singular intellectual community. They talk about what it feels like to walk around the campus. They talk about what they mean by a true experience, and they talk about kind of the, the power that the community and, and the alumni um, of the school, uh, you know, that the sort of power that you're invited into, the access that you're granted, et cetera. 
they've got an awesome uh, like chat with a student here, right? Like look right here, guys. You're able to chat not just with an admissions counselor, right? Not just with a program coordinator, but with an actual student. Super, super, super cool stuff. So I think in again in, in the COVID nineteen era, needing to be different and needing to be able to articulate your difference and your value proposition via non in person ways, right? The language that you use on your website has never been more important. I think Knox is killing it. All right, moving over to Loris here. Okay, so Loris is a Catholic liberal arts school, um, and this is that that form that I was talking about, which is super, super conversational and and Mad Libs like, right? So the first thing you hit their website, you know, uh, you can view majors and programs. Again, there's not a super loud call to apply. You can find that over here, of course, but it's not in your face. It's not overwhelming. Um, and immediately you're kind of hit with this hello and like, welcome to Loris. Uh, before we talk about us, let's learn about you. I love this, right? Again, very, very focused on the user from the get-go. Um, super easy to uh, fill out your name, your email, select your program of interest, et cetera, put in your cell phone number, or you can say, they say, or you know me at, give you, um, you know, a, a place to put in your email. I love that they're giving you choice here, by the way. So. You know, one of these fields, but not both of them, are actually required fields. And then you can, you know, request information, talk about start term, etc. I think that this sort of kind of uh, interaction and just a reimagination of the inquiry form is fantastic. And I really hope that you all who are watching this video copy this um, because it's 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 great. Finally, we've got Suffolk. So this is their uh, kind of their program search. So you know you, they've got the traditional undergrad program search, grad program search, law program search. But this is what's super cool and why I'm including them in this video. They have a tab called "I Aspire To," and you know they've got this really uh, you know compelling and impassioned in, in, in like real change starts with you copy. But like what's what's actually cool is it's not just talk, it's not just cool copy. It's actually super helpful, right? Because what they say is like, you know, I aspire to run for office. Um, I am personable, analytic, analytical, excuse me, strategic, be artistic in cool new ways. And if you click expand, what's super, super awesome is they've got some copy here, but then they, they say, okay, great. Here's where you want to start, right? Here's where you start at Suffolk. Here's how we're going to enable you to run for office, right? Or, hey, here's how we're going to help you be artistic in cool new ways. Here's where you start. Fine arts major, graphic design major, master of arts in graphic design. This is absolutely amazing. And I, I've never seen another university and, you know, I get paid to work with universities and help consult with them on their digital strategies, much of which is sort of their website experience. And I, I, I'm not, you know, so I, I, Anyways, all that is to say is that I've seen my hand, handful, my fair share of college university websites, and this is totally unique. No one else is doing this right now. I absolutely love it, and I'd be super, super interested to see from them, you know, what their conversion rate is on the inquiries that start with this uh, database, with this search functionality. Um, anyhow, I hope those I those three examples from Suffolk, from Loris, and from Knox were helpful to you all. Um, again, you know, I just am hoping that we can go about and, uh, you know, that th these videos can be a true resource for you all during this time. Uh, if there's anything that the team and I can do to be more helpful, please let me know. Otherwise, join the LinkedIn group. Uh, if you're not already, subscribe to Enrollify, share this content with a colleague. Um, happy to be here, happy to be helpful, and I look forward to hearing from you all soon. All right, guys, have a great week and take care.